Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created 4,000 special angels that every single day of our lives, they spent it, they spend it next to the grave of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. They weep and cry day and night for the Imam alayhi salam. And you know who these angels are? And Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam says these angels were the angels who were with Prophet Nuh in his ark during the flood. They were with Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was cast into the fire. They were with Prophet Musa alayhi salam when he split the sea. They were with Prophet Isa alayhi salam when Allah elevated him. And they were with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi at the battle of Badr. These greatest angels of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after the prophets gave them one assignment only. You sit next to the grave of Imam al Hussein and you weep on him. And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive the visitors of the grave of the Imam. This is the greatness of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. You think you know who Imam al Hussein is? You think you know the greatness of this man? We have no clue, respected brothers and sisters. Another narration tells us, in addition to these 4,000 special angels, there are 70,000 other angels that surround the grave of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, and their job is simply to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah gives the reward of their prayer to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. This is the greatness of this man. When you cry, don't think you're crying alone. The whole universe is crying with you. The angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are crying with you. When you cry, realize that you're participating in a universal event. Don't underestimate the power of your tears. The Imam alayhi salam in one hadith, he tells us on the day of judgment, every eye shall be crying except the eye that cried for Abi Abdullah al Hussein. On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not, will not allow these eyes to cry. Because by doing so, by crying, you are paying your respect to Fatima alayhi salam. You are paying res your respect to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give those eyes peace and security. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deliver the joy and the happiness to the hearts of those mu'mineen who cried for Abi Abdullah al Hussein salawatullahi alayhi. And the hadith goes on to tell us that on the day of judgment, those who cried on the Imam alayhi salam, Allah will give them one amazing honor, that they shall go and sit beneath the throne of God, and they will listen to Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam speaking to them. Then the angels will call on them, now it's time, go to paradise, go to your levels. They will not heed, they will not listen, the hadith says, from Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. The Hur al ain will come and invite them, come, we have missed you. They will not pay attention to them. They will say, we are busy listening to the beautiful words of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Yes, our tears need to be coupled with actions. There's no doubt about that. To give value to your tears, you have to practice the teachings of the Imam alayhi salam, but never underestimate the power of your tears. Never underestimate the act of crying on the Imam alayhi salam. Before the battle of Karbala, 57 years before the battle, the Prophet, peace be upon him, according to our Sunni brothers in their books, the Prophet cried 12 times publicly. If the Prophet, peace be upon him, cries on the Imam alayhi salam, why shouldn't we cry on the Imam alayhi salam? We are following the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him.